Mike. Welcome once again to uh, Jerusalem. Uh, this visit comes um, a few days after the loss of your uh, late father, Wayne. Uh, I want to uh, express the condolences uh, of my family to your family and of the people of Israel to you. I have to say that uh, just reading about your father, uh, we recognize the values uh, that he instilled in you that are so evident in everything that you do. So please accept our condolences. Thank you very much. Uh, the second point I want to say is that uh, we so deeply appreciate the fact that uh, this is your first trip abroad in some time, that you're making it to Israel for six hours. Uh, I think this is a testament to the strength of our alliance, to the strength of President Trump's commitment to the state of Israel, and to the uh, strength of your commitment to the state of Israel uh, in our alliance as well. So I want to uh, thank you for that too. Uh, equally, uh, we have a lot to talk about. The first thing is the plague. The corona plague uh, is uh, something that challenges the entire world, our two countries and everyone else. And we'd like to talk about uh, strengthening our cooperation, our partnerships in uh, battling uh, the corona virus plague. Uh, the second thing is that there's something else plaguing our region, which is uh, uh, un, uh, unremitting Iranian aggression and terror. And I want to express my appreciation for the strong position that the president and you and your administration put forward against uh, Iran, first by withdrawing from the dangerous Iran deal, second by uh, taking head on the masters of Iranian uh, terror, third uh, by going after continuing the arms embargo against uh, Iran that has not stopped for a minute its uh, aggressive designs and its aggressive actions against uh, uh, Americans, Israelis, uh, and everyone else in the region. So I want to express our appreciation for that and also discuss how we can continue uh, in our partnership to uh, combat and confront and roll back Iran's aggression uh, in the Middle East, in Syria, everywhere else. Uh, the third point is that now we're about to form uh, a national unity government uh, tomorrow. Uh, I, um, I think that this is an opportunity to uh, promote peace and security based on the understandings that I reached with uh, President Trump in my uh, last visit in Washington in January. Uh, and these are all tremendous challenges and opportunities. And we can do them because we have such a, uh, such a powerful bond that uh, makes uh, the alliance between Israel and the United States stand out, uh, certainly for us, but I think for many other countries looking around, there is an, an unbreakable bond of values and interests that has kept uh, this alliance uh, together, but also kept it growing and growing and growing. It's never been stronger. Uh, tomorrow marks 72 years uh, from the, president, the uh, recognition of President Truman of the State of Israel, the young State of Israel. And it also marks two years from another historic decision, the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital by President Trump. Uh, I think that uh, this brackets the uh, tremendous uh, uh, partnership that we have, the friendship that we have, the uh, uh, great sympathies that the people of Israel and the people of America have with uh, one another. Your trip at this time is a powerful expression of that, and I want to welcome you in this spirit to Jerusalem. Thank you, Mike. Thank welcome. You. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Prime Minister. First of all, thank you for your kind words about my father. It's deeply appreciated. Uh, I want to express my condolences, too, for the soldier uh, yesterday uh, that was killed. It reminds us all of the importance of making sure that uh, people all across the world know that Israel has the right to defend itself, and America will consistently support you in that effort. Uh, you talked about this two years ago today. We dedicated the embassy in Jerusalem. It's pretty remarkable. It seems like a long time ago much has happened since then, uh, and much in our relationship has continued to grow in those 24 months as well. And I want to thank you for that uh, personally in making that happen. It's important for America. It's important for Israel. It's important for democracies across the world. We, uh, uh, we'll have this uh, great opportunity to chat about Lots of topics. I always love coming here as a person of faith. It's fantastic. When I came down the road today, I got a chance to see some of the walls of the old city. It always reminds me of the historic nature of this place uh, and this very special 
special city that we're in today. Uh, we'll certainly talk about the challenges the globe faces with COVID, uh, Israeli technology, Israeli uh, medical expertise, all of the things that you and I and our teams can work on together. I know we'll deliver good outcomes uh, and decrease risk for people all across the world from this global pandemic. Uh, you're a great partner. You share information, unlike some other countries that, <laughs> that try and obfuscate and hide that information. And we'll talk about that country too, uh, some. Uh, well, the, the most important thing is actually generating the information <laughs> and then sharing yes, the information. Yes, yeah, uh, that's right. Democracies do both of those incredibly well. Sure. Yes. Uh, second, we'll, we'll get a chance to, to talk about the vision for peace. We're now some months on uh, from the day that you came to Washington when President Trump announced that vision for peace when you were there. Uh, there remains work yet to do, and we need to make progress on that. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you spoke uh, thoughtfully and candidly about Iran, as you always have. Uh, President Trump has done the same. Uh, the campaign that we have been part of uh, to reduce the resources that the Ayatollah has to inflict harm here in Israel and all across the world has borne fruit. It has been successful, and we're going to stay at it. There's still work to do on that file as well, as you, as you talked about, even during this pandemic. Uh, the Iranians using, using the Ayatollahs, the regime's resources to foment terror across the world, even when the people of Iran are struggling so mightily, uh, tells you a lot about the soul of those people who lead that country. Uh, I look forward to our visit today. I'm going to get a chance to meet with uh, Speaker Gantz as well, and I'm really looking forward to, albeit my very short stay here in Israel. Well, he's a very short stay for him as a speaker. Because <laughs> 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 thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. You're very, very welcome here, as is your delegation. Thank you all for coming here. Great. Today. Thank you all. Thank you.